If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Bang, you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. So we have news coming from Hitchens. You know what I'm saying? Richardson Hitchens, Eddie Hearn, and Matt Room, man. You know, he's coming back to fight in December. You know what I'm saying? Good Lord willing. So that's a good news, you know, to see the young man active again, man. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Oh, oh that looks good. Hold on. Oh, 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 Richardson Hitches, last time we saw him, some people thought he had a controversial win over Gustavo Limos. I didn't really think it was controversial at all. I thought it was a close fight where he won the majority of the rounds, you know what I'm saying? So I thought he won, and, um, you know, and, and I thought I had no problem with the decision. But I do kind of have a problem with his, <laughs> with his up-and-coming opponent, you know what I'm saying, in December. And, you know, and his, his opponent will be somebody who's moving up to a new weight division and coming off of a stoppage loss. Yeah, that sounds pretty familiar, right? It sounds like Joe Cordina and Shakur Stevenson. You know, uh, apparently this is the end of the year 2024 plan for Eddie Hearn. You know what I'm saying? This is his game plan for all his fighters. Have him <laughs> have a fight against a, a fighter who's a former champion moving up to a new division for the first time and coming off of a stoppage loss, you know? So, uh, you know, let's, let's think about Jose Pedraza, right? Jose Pedraza's last four fights include a loss to Jose... Uh, Carlos Ramirez. Yeah. Um, a loss to uh, was it? A, I think a draw with Richard Kami. Yeah, Richard Kami. A draw with Richard Kami. Yeah. A loss to Arnold Barbosa Jr. Yeah. And then a stoppage loss, most recently to Keyshawn Davis, as I said in the sixth round, I believe. Yeah. So um, they're, they're all good fighters, you know, particularly Keyshawn Davis. You know, he's headlining his first card against Gustavo Limos, uh, coming up pretty soon. You know, in November. So th they're, those aren't bad losses per se, but it's just you know to have them in a row. You know, with one draw, you know, it's pretty close to having four losses in a row, but he has three losses in one draw. So that, that that's not the the best look, you know, and and I would like to see Richardson Hitches being the number one ranked uh, uh, fighter in the IBF at 140. I would like to see him have a have a better matchup, you know, more formidable matchup, you know. What if even try to fight Liam Paro, you know what I'm saying? That, who you're the number one mandatory too, you know what I'm saying? The champion that you're the number one mandatory. That's just a thought. Or or, or, or somebody else, because Jose Pedraza, he's not even ranked at 140, which I'm sure he will be as we get we we uh we get more uh we closely approach the 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 fight date. You know how they magically move up fighters in the rankings conveniently when they have a fight coming up. But um, yeah, it's his first fight at 140. I'm not looking forward to it too much. Well, I am looking forward to it because I would like to see Richardson Hitches come back in the ring. You know, but I'm I'm not really too excited from the matchup standpoint. But at the same time, you know, Jose Pedraza, he's 35. Damn. I'm sorry. If he's not I mean, he's not as old as a lot of people would think you know he's just been in the game for a long time right because he fought tank while he was undefeated and Javante Davis uh, I believe that's when he first won the, that's when tank won his first belt against Jose Pedraza a long time ago so you think you might think that he's older than what he is uh, but he's just he, he's mostly old as far as ring mileage goes and and and, and being a professional but as far as uh uh, uh, age. There's a lot of champions, a lot of active fighters. You know, even champions like Usyk are older than older than Jose Pedraza. But then again, people age differently. But as far as this this announcement, I am. I am happy to hear Richard Hitches back in the ring because he's kind of forgotten about, right? You know what I'm saying? Richard Hitches, he kind of gets overlooked because of his lack of activity or lack of intrigue, whether it's a performance or his opponent, you know? So uh, it's good to see him back in the ring, you know, and let's see what he does, man. He needs to win impressively. He needs to win impressively. I know, like I said, last time we saw him was against Gustavo Limos and it was a controversial win. And then the time before that, I believe, was against uh, uh, Jose Zapata, right? Uh, Ho Jose, was it Jose? Yeah, Jose Zapata. And he won by unanimous decision. Last time we see Jose Cepeda, he just won last night against Ivan Redkosh, but he did lose by stoppage to Dalton Smith the time before that, if I'm not mistaken. My timeline might be a little off, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. I'm going off the top now, you know what I'm saying? Work with your boy, you feel me? Uh, um, but yeah, so um, uh, yeah, so I am looking forward to this fight, but at the same time, I, I, I would have liked it just to be somebody who I thought would be more challenging and and and, and give uh, Richard Hitches an opportunity to demonstrate his skills. But at the same time, if he can win in an impressive fashion, this will this will showcase his skills and get people more interested. And then we can come back for another fight uh, uh, in 2025. Good Lord willing, man. You know, they out there trying to earn with Hearn, but, but, but Hearn got to get get us intrigued. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see how it goes, man. Maybe it's part of the master plan and I might stand corrected because if he shines right now, maybe you could get him uh, get him that shot against Liam Paro uh, uh, for the IBF, even though, you know, they're 
been rumblings about Devin Haney challenging Liam Paul back down in Australia for the IBS. So we'll see, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Are you excited about Richard Hitchens returning? Are you excited about Richard Hitchens versus Jose the Sniper Pajaza? Or are you, are you, are you, are you really could be like, ah, miss me with this fight? Y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God or nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.